So for our first point, let's look at some errors that occurred during DWG file creation. On the left, you see the error creating a file, and this is a common issue that has occurred for users, and this could either be due to permissions, the file being already open, or it just could be a microstation error in general. The error on the right deals with a seed file missing or potentially being bad, or it could be a microstation error as well. But looking at the first issue, error creating file, we suggest that you verify the permissions to write to the DWG to the desired location. Make sure that you have permissions to save the file in this location, or the file might already be open. Now, the significance of that in our last uh, answer hour presentation, we talked about the difference between saving a DGN file as a DWG as opposed to exporting to DWG. Uh, when you do a save as, you will actually go from the DGN to the newly created DWG file, whereas if you export your DGN to DWG format, uh, you will be maintained in that DGN file and the DWG file will get created separately. So the key there is if this file is already open in another process or another program, for example, MicroStation, or you may have it open in AutoCAD, you might get an, a message indicating that there's an error with file creation. Sometimes that may not be known. Now, in our earlier versions of Connect Edition, uh, you were more likely to get this error. Uh, the later versions of Connect will generally tell you that the file is already open or that it's read-only, but that's something to note. Another solution is that the DGN file might have an issue with a bad reference file. References might be being merged or maintained. There is always the potential that the reference file could be causing the problem. Some to suggest there, you can either try to turn off the display of the reference before converting the file to DWG, or you can make a copy of that DGN file and simply detach the reference files and see if that file would then convert. And if it does, then uh, what you may uh, need to do is then check those reference files. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and share it with others. If you want to see more like it, please consider subscribing to this and Bentley's other channels. Thank you and see you next time.